You know, there's nothing more depressing to a parent who's tired at the end of the day than a pile of children's knickknacks waiting to be stacked away. Well, I know that you'll say, oh, well, the children ought to do that themselves, and so they should, but it's not always a fun thing to do. If you can make it fun, so much the better. And uh, I thought we'd make a storage unit today, but not just a simple box like this, but one that would turn that chore into rather more fun by making the storage unit into a toy, a toy cargo boat, in fact, like this. And it's, uh, it's got its flexibility. We can put the superstructure there, and all these holds hold things. Well, how do we go about making it? Let me show you. Firstly, you'll need our old friend, the cardboard carton. And uh, these can be, uh, well, any size you like, but you'll need about four or five, maybe even six of them. And uh, you'll have to get those from your local supermarket or dairy or grocery. And if you smile upon them, I'm sure they'll hold them for you and you can save them up. But they'll have to be the same size. We start it by cutting off the flaps of these things. And um, do that with a very sharp trimming knife and remove them all. The next stage, I think it would be a good idea if you did it rather more neatly than I'm doing it, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Uh, the next stage following that is to make a ridge into which we can put uh, the lid so it will sit there. And all these cut surfaces, and including the ridge, are going to be covered with paper tape. So I'll just show you how to put that on straight off. Uh, the tape uh, is a glued uh, tape in this case, but it need not be uh, just a, um, a brown paper glued strip. It can be ordinary piece of paper glued over that, but the whole idea is to again make a continuous surface so that it's a good finish when you've finished it. We're going to take a piece of um, card which we've cut from the side of another disused carton and glue it in position there. This makes the ridge that I was speaking of earlier um, on which the lid will sit. And that is placed about a half an inch down from the inside of the ridge like that. And I've already put these in position so you can see around here how all these things go. There. Now, the next stage is to uh, cover those with a uh, brown paper strip again so that the whole surface is continuous in there. Then we will cut out a lid. This is again cut from the side of a cardboard carton, a rather large one, so that uh, it's the same material throughout, and that fits there nice and snugly. Now the next task is to fit the bow and the stern to the, to the boat. Now for this we need a piece of card that's the same height as the box. We can cut it that way. And we make this card into the bow of the boat by simply scoring along one side of it with the blunt side of a knife and that damages the surface and it folds in a rather crisper manner than it otherwise would and then we glue this in position either side put some glue on it here some glue here center it up and you'll see that that resembles resembles the front of our boat when that's done the boat will look something like this one here. We need then to put the stern on. Well, the stern is done exactly the same way. Another piece of card wrapped and glued around there. And you might have to put a wee weight on that to, to wait for it to dry. The next job is to mark the fill in the shapes, as it were. This is going to be a bit difficult for you to see, but we get another piece of cardboard from, cut from the side of a carton and place it under the boat like so, and then draw around the inside of that shape, around the inside, and that will give us the shape of the back of the boat, the stern, and also the bow when we come to do that. We cut out two of these shapes, two ex identical shapes, glue them around the edges, slip them in position, and there they are. It's a good idea at that stage to reinforce them with some ta tabs, like so. And put those right round the edge here and that'll make it good and strong when it comes to securing or painting it. The superstructure is made, if I can, by, um, by gathering together the various boxes that you can find in your kitchen 
and uh, taping them together and making them good and secure, putting on, uh, making up your own kind of superstructure and uh, inventing away there furiously. Because you can do this your own, your own way and that's where your creativity comes into it. The lids are made for those holds the same way as I've shown in the previous one. And uh, by and large, you're about ready now, if that's all done, to paint it. Well, what do you use for paint? Let's have a look at this one here. If you use the scraps of paint that may be left over from interior decoration or something like that, the sort with a, a, a plastic base, uh, that'll do a good job. Uh, these lids for the holds are made from can uh, lids of canisters. Uh, the trim around here is simply uh, white paper. It's a bit difficult to paint that, so glue some white paper strips around there, and that'll make a neat job of that. And uh, your boat's pretty well finished, and it's looking quite decorative. You can also use other sorts of boxes for a... Um, uh, for a cargo storage boat. In this case, you can see it's an uh, uh, aircraft carrier. Well, if you want plans for these things, write to us at P.O. Box 2606 Christchurch, make and do, P.O. Box 2606, and we'll send you out the instructions on how to make these. And in the meantime, uh, good making, and this is quite a decorative thing to sit in the bedroom and um, hold the children's toys. <laughs>